Today we're going to do an album review on Now We Sleep by Artificial Language. That lead-in was actually from the first track um, from Now We Sleep called The Back of My Mind. I actually didn't even know this band existed until I watched a YouTube video from one half of the Dickie Dine show, um, Austin Dickie. And he had recommended this band and this album in particular. And usually he and I don't exactly see on the same page as far as music tastes are concerned. But I, you know, I enjoy music, so I wanted to look into something different. And I will tell you from hearing that even that little opening kind of strata um, from that song, I was hooked immediately. And this album just gets better the more you listen to it and the longer you listen to it. And it's also got a deep meaning. Two people having a debate whether life is worth living or not. You know, you have the optimist saying, yeah, you know, life gets hard sometimes, but... You know, you got to persevere and make it through. And the pessimist is like, no, it's just easier if you just end it. It's easier if you, you know, end it all. And then all of life's burdens and troubles will go away because you have nothing to worry about anymore. Now... Being somebody that struggles with anxiety and depression, this conversation has happened in my mind several times. And, you know, that's what you end up finding out is that this is one person and this is basically him wrestling with his own demons. <clears throat> but being somebody that wrestles with depression and anxiety myself, There's a good message. There's a good message in this album. The album is great front to back. Basically, the entire album is concept. And it's about... Well, the back of my mind is one of my favorites. Trail of Lights is another one that I really like. And Now We Sleep, actually, um, is the end of the album. And it has... The guy from The Contortionist, I can't think of his name right now. This is a really, really good song. Um, really good album. Super proggy, so if you're not into prog, it might not be for you, but, you know, you got two guitarists, a drummer, a bassist, a pianist, which, very interesting, and then your lead singer. But it all kind of fits. It's like a weird formula, but it all kind of fits. You know, you'll have this break where the piano will come in and it just kind of adds another layer. And the guitarists for Artificial Language really, really vibe off of each other. Really technical guitar players. It's just... A, you don't hear a lot of albums like this anymore. And it's, it's refreshing to hear an album... That sounds so different than what everybody else is putting out. And I know artificial language isn't exactly, well, they're not a Metallica or, you know, even to a lower level, like somebody like a periphery or something like that. But still, these guys are super talented. And even though they're flying under the radar, it's still worth checking out. Even their their album before this the observer is still great they really made a fan out of me and i recommend that anybody that likes good guitar work good vocals i would recommend checking it out that's my review i'm gonna try and do this i'm gonna try and do different ones every week so i will probably end up posting something on twitter or maybe facebook to see what you guys want me to review next so, 
Have a good day, outliers. And remember, every day is going to be difficult, but it's what you do. It's how you look at it that can make an impact on your life. Every day is a blessing and never forget that.